channel self belief today i am going to teach about auxiliary verb before we start i am going to give a brief introduction about verb as you know that verb is the heart of the sentence as human beings cannot live without heart similarly a, a sentence cannot make without a verb so it is the most important parts of speech now without delay let's start about this topic auxiliary auxiliary means helping verb or supporting verb there are mainly two kinds of auxiliary verb primary auxiliary model auxiliary primary auxiliary are those number 1 be verb am is are was or number 2 have verb have has had number 3 do verb do does did so there are overall 11 primary auxiliary and model auxiliary there are total 13 model auxiliary they are can could will would shall should may might must ought to used to need dare so overall there are 24 auxiliary verb the verb be has three forms in its present tense they are am is are was or are the verb have has two forms in the present tense that the verb be has three forms in its present tense they are am is are the verb be has two forms in past tense they are was or are the verb have has two forms in present tense they are have has and one form in past tense it is had the verb do has to form in present tense they are do does and one form in past tense this did so there are overall 11 primary auxiliary now model model auxiliary can could could is the past form of can will would past form of will shall should past form of shall may might might past form of may must ought to used to need they are they are also called semi models so total 13 model auxiliary at last total primary and model auxiliary total 24 auxiliary verbs here i am going to discuss about the use of be verb be verb is used as an auxiliary verb in various tenses such as i am reading he was reading the work was done Uh, it also express previous plan as for example he is to oyet shumo next month be verb also expressed feeling age size oyet oyeda time etc start be verb is used as an auxiliary verb in various tenses as for example i am reading he is going the work was done here am is be verb is be verb was also be verb be verb is used to express feeling age size or at time she is going to be 30 next july she is going to be 30 next july it expresses is both jack and jill are growing tall and fat 
expresses size he was weighing 90 kg during the training expresses weight be verb also used to express previous plan he is to weigh some more next month expresses previous plan so be verb is used as an auxiliary verb in forming various tenses to express feeling age size weight time etc feeling age size weight etc to express previous plan and in forming various tenses now i am going to discuss about the use of have have has its two forms in present tense have has and one form in past tense had have is used as an auxiliary verb in various tenses as for example he has done the work and it also express food drink fun tastes etc have has present form and had past form have is used in various tenses he has gone various tenses he has gone home has verb used to get a job done he has completed his room has used to express obligation you have to do this work right now obligation express in connection with food drink fun taste etc he has drunk a cup of coffee he has done oil in all the tests here i am going to discuss about the use of do verb do has its form as do did done it is used in the following used in questions in negative sentence and in question text and also short answers do var has its form do be done it is used in asking question do var used in asking question do you like to go there question in negative sentence he does not go there does not forming negative sentence in question tag and short answer he lives here doesn't he question tag doesn't he and short answer yes he does so do var has been mainly used in asking questions in forming negative sentences and in question tag and short answers I hope this video is quite helpful to realize the concept in a better way. For more videos please like share and subscribe my video. Thanks for watching.